see too often in uh, poetry readings. And the people always, if they were like a band, they would do this for like the big greatest hits medley thing at the end of their show. But I'm going to read some new stuff that I wrote recently that I'm like really hot to read. And I'm, this is like the first time I've read this stuff, so I think you guys are going to really enjoy this. All right, this is called Long Distance Runaround. While absence makes the heart grow seemingly fonder, it also breeds contempt, mistrust, mistrust and fuels the engine of doubt. Prolong your absence, I say. I grow fonder of the idea of you while the reality is distant, vague, and a primer for separation. The runaround of long distance makes me yearn for the road while the truth is clear, present, and a signal to begin again. Mm. All right, here's a sappy one. This is called Everything Looks Better in Bed. <laughs> the sun shines through the curtains. I do not yet feel its intense heat. Sounds of traffic and lawnmowers drift inside, but I am indifferent. My love is entwined with my arm in a delicate and safe lover's pretzel. It is Saturday, and the entire world can wait for me to greet the day. It is Saturday, and I am in no rush to be blindsided by dramas galore. It is Saturday, and all my projects can wait yet another hour for me. It is Saturday, and I do not owe anyone anything before my morning coffee. This moment of bliss has now been stored inside my memory warehouse. This lazy summer Saturday morning will be useful for January daydreams. While everything looks better in bed, mattresses still can't cure a wanderlust. <laughs> I, got a, I got a kick out of this last one when I wrote it, so hopefully you guys will like it too. This is called The Last Poet Standing. <laughs> round and round the literary saloon, the dangerous word slingers circle, the outlaw, the scorn, and the bookworm. Maricone's immortal score echoes around the minds of the desperados. Out for blood, out for glory, out for the last word. Onlookers were hushed in awe. The streets were empty, the animals all silent. The scorned woman drew first, regaling with tales of lost love and triumph over adversity. She crowed at full voice. She turned to bow for the crowd and was cut down by the outlaw. His double barrel verbal assault stopped her right in her tracks. The vile outlaw drew second, blaring with tales of criminals and triumph over adversaries. He bellowed at full voice. He turned to bow for the crowd and was burned by the bookworm. His heat-lightning verse vaporized the outlaw right where he stood. The bookworm took the scorn woman's scarf and the outlaw's hat as trophies and as a reminder. He tipped his hat for the crowd, but he never did turn his back, for he knew others would arise to claim his crown after that day, to steal his title of Thesaurus Rex. Maricone's immortal score whispers around the minds of would-be foes, out for blood, out for glory, out for the last word. But this resourceful word singer remained the last poet standing. After that fateful verbal shootout, he became legendary, admired, and even feared by his occupation. Librarian. <laughs> 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 